guys, welcome back to my channel. My bun is on another level today. I'm sorry that like I couldn't be bothered to do my hair and my hair is, my bun is literally outside the screen of the camera. Anyway, I recently did my makeup inventory. I will leave that linked. I also recently did a declutter where I got rid obviously of a bunch of my makeup. I will also leave that linked. But as I was going through my makeup collection, inventorying everything, I pulled out a basket of products that are on my chopping block, if you will. Like, I just don't know if I have it in me to keep these in my collection, if I love them enough to keep them in my collection. Am I reaching for them just because I feel like I need to, or do I really truly love and wanna keep these products in my collection? So I have a handful, I don't have a ton. Hopefully this would be a quicker, quicker video, but I thought that I would share all of these with you and then over the next like six weeks, try and get some good use out of these products and then come back and share with you what I will be decluttering versus what I will be keeping. So if you're interested in seeing the products that are currently on my chopping block, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or you just like to chit chat about makeup, I would love if you would consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, you guys, I think maybe I'll start with lips. For some reason, I feel like lips are like the least exciting. I have these three lip products. All three actually are liquid lipsticks. I feel like for me, I just do not use liquid lipstick that much. So like, do I really need a full drawer of liquid lips lipstick, which I currently have. I also love the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick formula. Like honestly, if I had to get rid of every liquid lipstick and just keep my Dose of Colors, I would probably be okay with that. They also have a really great range of shades. So I don't know where I'm going with this, but I did pull these three out to decide whether or not I want to keep them. Up first, I have this one from Laura Geller. It is their 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Color. And I just don't reach for red liquid lipsticks all that much. And when I do, I kind of have my favorite. But the shade of red is a little bit different than the other reds I have in my collection. So I feel like this is such like a fun red too for the summertime. I'm like, ugh. I don't know if I can get myself to get rid of this one. So this is on the chopping block. I also just like maybe reach for a red lipstick in general five times a year. That's why I'm like, do I really need this? Next up I have this one from Give Me Glow. I have had this for so long. This is old. Definitely probably expired, but doesn't smell off. And this is a very deep vampy shade. Not something I'm gonna be reaching for really this time of year. A shade like this gets reached for even less than shades like this. And I just, I remember I purchased this with the intent to do a liquid lipstick review on my channel and then I just never got around to it. This is in the shade Sweater Weather. And I also purchased this when I feel like those like deep vampy looks were very in. Not to say they're not in in the fall time, but I honestly don't feel like I've ever, I don't even know if I've ever put this on my lips and it's been in my collection for years, so. <laughs> I feel like this one I will probably end up decluttering, but then there's that part of me that's like, yes, but you don't have really any other vampy lip, 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 lip products in your collection. But do you guys get my dilemma here? You should weigh in in the comments below and let me know what your, your what your thoughts are. What should I keep? What should I just declutter? So this next one is from Girlactic, and this is in the shade Demure. And this is a really beautiful shade. I just never reach for this. I do really enjoy the shade on this. Um, and it feels like it might actually be more like the ColourPop um, Ultra Blotted Lip. Like, this is two layers. This isn't one. So maybe this will be a little bit more comfortable. I've also had this for a bit. I believe I got this in a BoxyCharm a bit ago, at least a year ago. Still smells fine. But yeah, these are the three liquid lipsticks I'm considering decluttering. I actually have two brow products in my chopping block just because I do not reach for brow products all that often. I usually just do a brow powder in my brows and occasionally I'll use a brow pencil. So the two brow products that are on my chopping block right now are the Real Her I Am Strong Definer Brow Pencil. And this just feels, first of all, I don't know that this will be a great shade match for me. I usually do do a dark brow, dark brow instead of more of like this taupey color. And I also feel like it's a very waxy formula, which is not always my favorite, 
but I mean I do kind of want a couple of brow pencils in my collection so we'll see and then from Fenty Beauty I have the brow MVP which I believe I got in a boxy charm as well I forgot this has like the very unique brush tip um this again just feels super stiff and super waxy and again I just don't know if the shade is going to be great for me this feels super waxy even waxier than the other one so we'll see about this. I do want to see if I like these, but I maybe go through one brow pencil a year. So do I really need them? I have two liquid shadow formulas. I do think I'll finish up my Natasha Denona liquid chromium shadow, which I have been enjoying. I just do not reach for liquid shadows all that much. I have a handful left, like just a few. Um, so I have this one from e.l.f. This is in the shade Mermaid mermaid shimmy and i got this last summer really enjoyed it but haven't reached for it since last summer oh gosh that's a beautiful shade i forget how pretty that is okay maybe i need to toss this into a project well it's gonna be in this sh i don't think i'm gonna i don't think i'm gonna get rid of this but we'll see we'll see i do want to use that a few times and and see if I need to keep it. And then from Dominique Cosmetics, I have this one in Electric Soul. And this just wasn't what I had envisioned it was going to be in terms of shade. And I just don't love the shade. And I don't necessarily love the formula either. It is a duochrome, but I, don't, I just, ugh, I don't feel like I love it. Here it is swatched right here. It's pretty. Ugh, I don't know. I just don't ever really love it on my eyes. But then I'm like, uh, it was expensive and I feel like I should like it. So we'll see. Those are my two liquid shadows. Um, I have a couple of highlighters. How many highlighters? One, two, three, four? Four highlighters. Okay. So up first, I have this loose highlight from Glam Light. This is their Sugar High highlight. And for me, I don't use loose highlighters all that often, but I do think that they are beautiful. It's really just a shade thing for me on this one. I just feel like this one might be a little bit too icy and a little bit, no, not too glittery, but like a little bit too icy potentially. Um, there it is kind of sheared out a little bit. So I just want to use this kind of consistently for a few weeks and see what I think. I have my Artist Couture Summer Haze one, which I adore. Uh, it's it's really just shade for me because I do like to have a couple loose highlighters in my collection. Then I have this little mini guy from Becca. This is a mini opal and I've had this for so long but never used it. So I kind of just wanted to put this in to get use out of it. I do feel like I will like the shade. There's that one swatched right there. I think it's pretty. I think we all know what opal looks like and Becca is going out of business. So I feel like like in honor of them, I should use this. I think it's pretty. I probably won't declutter that as well, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I did put it in my uh, chopping block for a reason, so we'll see. Okay, my hand is gonna be super stained now from those liquid lipstick swatches. Okay, then surprisingly, I'm considering decluttering the Wanderlust Glow Highlighter from Buxom in White Russian. I just feel like ah uh, maybe I just haven't used this and I just probably haven't used this I probably won't end up decluttering this because this is a really beautiful pink highlight and it doesn't look as icy as some of my other pink highlights I feel like I just need to use this consistently but then from benefit I also have their cookie highlight and this I just have not reached for I remember I loved it when it was all the rage and then I was like okay did I really just love it because everyone was hyping it up or do I actually really like this this just looks like it's gonna be too icy for my tastes going forward. I definitely prefer a more subtle highlight these days. The only time I really do an intense highlight is if I'm filming. Um, I feel like that's gonna be way, way too icy. Wow. Um, but I do feel like I actually am really gonna enjoy White Russian. So these two also on the chopping block. And then I have two duos. So I remember really liking this last summer. And I think this is just a situation where I have not reached for this. But this is the e.l.f. duo in Cantaloupe. I do think like in terms of the highlight, probably not one I'm going to get a ton of use out of. It's not the smoothest formula. And it is, again, very icy. But the blush, I remember really enjoying because I didn't have a shade like this at all in my collection but I have not reached for this in so long so I'm like do I really yeah I feel like 
I'll probably end up keeping this too because I feel like I'm especially for the summertime really gonna enjoy this but it was something that I was side eyeing as a possible declutter so I did decide to include that and then also my Jaclyn Hill uh, duo so I actually in my declutter I was like I was planning to declutter this and I was like uh I don't know like do I actually want to declutter it so I'm gonna put it in my chopping block and we're gonna see if I actually want to get rid of this for me I just feel like maybe I went in with too high of expectations and I was expecting to like this more than I did I have mine in the shade pink me up and oh honey you can barely see oh honey swatched so when I have more of a self tan I did just put my self tan I sprayed my self tan on this morning so I feel like I'm developing throughout the day and I will be more tan and then I also have um, the pink me up shade I think is a really beautiful blush shade but it's also really bulky packaging, which I also feel like is another reason I'm considering decluttering this. It's just, I don't know. Um, I have one bronzer. I consider decluttering this every time I do a declutter and just cannot get myself to do it. The other day I was like, yep, I'm ready to declutter it. And then I like put it on and I was like, ah, I don't know. So I again, wanna just use this consistently. It is a more cool toned bronzer and it also has a bit of a sheen to it. So that's why I'm like, okay, I don't know how I feel about a cool tone with a sheen anymore. I used to love this, but I just don't know if I do anymore. And then I just have two blushes to finish it up with. One cream, one powder. So I have this little guy from Tarte. This is in the shade Concept. I feel like I think about decluttering this all the time too. Probably because I know I got this like for free or something or didn't pay for it. If I didn't say this is in the shade Concept and then I swatch it and I'm like, no, why would I ever consider getting rid of that? It's a really beautiful kind of mid-toned, kind of mid-toned, not even really, just like a neutral blush shade. I probably won't declutter that, but I rarely reach for that. So that's why I'm like, I wanna consistently use it, see what I really think, like, do I actually need it? And then from Rare Beauty, I have the Nearly Neutral Cream Blush. And it wasn't until I did my makeup inventory that I realized just how many cream blushes I own. And I was like, girlfriend, you need to get it together. I do really like this, but it is definitely more so. I probably won't end up decluttering this. But this was the one that I was like, uh, like I feel like, so there's one layer right there. I don't know how well you'll be able to see. I just feel like I have to layer this to get it to be the shade that I want. Although lately I've just been doing um, like the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Serum. And then a little bit of my Glossier, uh like liquid blush and loving that and I feel like yeah I probably will really love this well I probably won't end up getting rid of this but stay tuned for my chopping block follow-up to find out for sure what I do end up deciding to keep versus declutter again I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below what do you think I should keep what do you think you're like girlfriend like why are you even considering keeping that like just declutter that just declutter that shiz Anyway, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch and for supporting my channel as you always do. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.